Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my March beauty subscription services. I've got my Birch Box and my Glossy Box. These are both £10 a month beauty subscription services. So I'm just going to show you the products that I got and compare the two basically. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with my Birch Box today and this is the design. It's just got a bunch of letters on it, kind of like a word search type thing and it's orange on the bottom. I'm sure it will explain inside what the theme is. On the booklet you can see that the theme is Word Up and inside it talks about how they've created this word search box which it says it's designed to hit home that we are here to help you search for and find your ultimate beauty discovery. So Birchbox and Glossy Box are really great ways to discover new brands and new products so they're just kind of emphasising that in the theme this month. Let's have a look at what I've got in my box this month. So this is just the bag here, it seems quite full. The first thing I'm seeing here is from the brand This Works, and this is their Sleep Plus Pillow Spray. And I think it's just a small sample of it. I actually already have a sample of this, I'm not sure, I've got it in another beauty box I think. But I've used it a few times and you're literally supposed to spray it on your pillow before you go to sleep. And it has like a mix of different um, essential oils, that kind of thing, to help you to sleep and full size is £16. They've had three different sprays in the box, so this is one I've got which is the Sleep Plus one. I do like it, I don't tend to use it that often, I don't know if it makes that much difference, but it's just quite calming and nice um, to spray on your pillows or your blankets, whatever, before you go to sleep. So um, it's nice to have another sort of backup for that. I do already have a small sample as well. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing in here is something I've actually spoken about on my channel before and it's one of my all-time favourite products and it's the Model Co More Brows Brow Gel. I'm not sure if I've got this in a birch box before, I'm sure I've got it in some sort of beauty box. Um, the full size of this is £13 and that's what this is and this is in the shade Medium Dark which is obviously the right shade for me. And I actually already have this in my brows today because I use this product quite a lot. I don't always fill in my brows and put anything through them because they are really full naturally. But here it is just in my makeup bag. Um, when I do my brows, if I want to set them with a gel, this is my favourite one that I've found. I've tried a few different ones. And I like it because it's really, really small. Um, so you can be really precise with it. It's got the smallest little brush. And it just doesn't feel crispy and I don't like that feeling. So... This is really great for me, I really like it. It reminds me, packaging wise, of the Benefit Gimme Brow, which I actually haven't tried, but it'd be interesting to know if this is sort of a dupe for it. Um, I think that this is slightly cheaper, but I really love this product. Um, I have repurchased it. I think I've, had, I've gone through two, but well, that's my second one in my makeup bag now, so I definitely will use this once I've um, run out of that one. I really, really love this product. And next up in here, there's this big box. Um, here. This is the Lano Lips Intense Golden Ointment. It says it's for dry skin, intense hydration and protection. And it has Manuka Honey. This is a full size, so that's nice. And this is £18. Um, I'm not really sure what this is for. I think it might be one of those sort of all purpose things. It says just to rub into the skin as required, allow it to absorb and settle. I haven't tried much from Lano Lips, but I'm excited to try this actually. I do sometimes get dry skin, especially on like my elbows and stuff like that. So this will be good to try and see if this helps. Um, and yeah, I like the packaging. It feels really nice. feels like quite high end. Um, and it's cute. So yeah, I like that. The next thing I have here is a night cream. This is from the brand Polar and it's their night cream. I'm actually running low on kind of facial creams at the minute, so this will probably come in handy. It's quite interesting packaging. The full size of this is £32 and it says just to massage into face and neck before bed. It's quite thick. It smells good. Mmm, I like that. It says it's supposed to smooth skin and regenerate and revitalise to make it seem younger. I'll definitely use that. I like getting samples like this because I haven't really got a favourite moisturiser, so I like to try out different things and see if anything is like noticeably different, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying this one. And that's 25ml, so it's a decent size to be able to sort of test out and see if you like the product with that amount. Okay, the next thing is a lip balm. This is from the brand Arrow Boost. It's the Arrow Boost Colour Enhancing Lip Balm, and that's what it looks like. It looks like a peachy colour. Doesn't seem like it has much of a smell. Oh, it's a bit fruity. 
It just looks like a really subtle corally peach colour, if you can see. Um, I am a complete lip balm junkie, so I love going through lip balms and just throwing them in my bag. I reapply lip balms all the time. So I'll definitely use that. When I just wiped off my hand, it's coming up like pink, so I'm not sure it might be different on the lips, but... Uh, yeah, I love lip balms. I don't tend to use coloured lip balms that much, but if it's good and it doesn't go sort of chunky on the lips, then I will use it, so I'll see how that goes. And that is £11. It's a full size and it's a Birchbox exclusive. There's another product in here, so there's six this month. This is the Amica Nourishing Mask, Sea Buckthorn Berry. And this is a conditioning mask, and as you can see, it's just sort of a little packet. Um, I do like getting things like this. This is probably what you'd consider the extra, since there's six products instead of five. And I'd like a good hair mask. My hair is desperately in need of being cut right now. It's completely just, yeah, really needs a haircut to sort of tidy things up. But this kind of thing is really good just to treat any sort of dead dead ends or split ends, that kind of thing. So I'll definitely try this. I'll just throw it in my shower or I'll use it for travelling because obviously it's just sort of a one or two time use type thing. So yeah, I like that. I'm pretty happy with the box this month, I think. Um, all of the stuff I think I will use and especially it's nice to get the more brows well gel. That is something I would most likely repurchase anyway and that will be more than the cost of this box so yeah really happy with that one. Okay let's move on to my Gotti box. It's just come in this pink packaging today this month. Let's have a look how it compares. Okay the first thing I'm seeing in here is a brush. I can't remember if it was last month or the month before that we got a brush from a Gotti box but I do really love getting brushes. Um, I have tons of them but <laughs> It's nice to get brushes in these beauty boxes, I think. Uh, this is from the brand Luxie. It's the 504 Large Angled Brush. It looks really nice. Uh, it's got this light pink handle. And I have a similar brush like this, my Sigma F40. This one's a little bit smaller. But I really love this for blush. Um, but I think this might even be best for blush because it is slightly smaller. But I love this for contour as well, but I always... Um, I can't use it for both, so I tend to use it for one or the other, and then when I wash it, I can change, that kind of thing. But this will be really cool, because now I kind of have two of the similar shaped brushes, so I can have one for contour and one for blush, that's really awesome. Full size is £10.42. I haven't heard of this brand, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it's got the sort of rose gold sort of detail, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to have that in the box. Okay, the next two things I'm seeing are a shampoo and conditioner duo. These are from the brand 417, and the full sizes of these are £16.89 each, which is quite a lot. It's definitely not sort of your run-of-the-mill, just drugstore shampoo and conditioner, which is what I would normally just pick up. Um, I don't have too much of a smell. It says the has a combination of Dead Sea moisture balancing minerals, energising vitamins and essential oils. Um, to leave your hair super gleaming, hydrated and lustrous. So yeah, these are nice sizes actually because they are travel sizes but they're um, 40 millilitres each so you're going to get quite a few uses out of these, they're not just sort of one time uses. So that's nice and I like that you get sort of the same size of both a shampoo and a conditioner as well. That's always nice to get in boxes so I will definitely use these up at some point. Uh, the next thing is a makeup product, this is from the brand Collection. I love Collection, I sort of mentioned it. Maybe in my last favourites video, I can't remember, but it's a great affordable brand and all the products I've tried I do really like. This is the Speedy Highlighter and it's just a big crayon sort of highlight. I actually have a few of these. I have a Clinique one, I think I might have an MUA one and I can't remember if I have the number 7 one or not, but I have quite a few. Um, I don't always tend to use them, I think it's one of those products I forget, but it is a really nice shade. See if it picks up anything on camera. Um, quite light and pearly, which is sort of goes well on my skin because I'm quite fair. Um, so I'll try and remember to use this. I think if I was going to use a cream highlighter, it probably would be in this kind of form because it would be really quick and easy. That's three ninety nine, and it's in the shade number one pearl sheen. Um, so I'm not sure they must. They probably have different shades. I'll definitely try that out and see how I like it. Another very well known brand. This is from Olay. This is their Luminous Skin Tone Perfecting Cream and the full size of this is £29.99. This is just a little small sample. 
So it's supposed to be a skin corrector. It's kind of a moisturiser mixed with a, I guess kind of like a tinted moisturiser. Um, I don't know how much colour it has in it. I definitely have to try it on the face and see how much difference it makes. It smells good, it's got a bit of fragrance in it. Um, haven't really tried too much from Ole. I've tried a few of their moisturisers, like I think I had a night cream once. And I did like it, it was good. It says you can use it morning and evening. So I'm not sure if it actually has a tint to it or if it just it says it helps to fade the look of discoloration and dark spots. So maybe it's not really like a tinted moisturiser but more of like a treatment. The final thing in here is from Hey Honey and it's their Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. And you get uh, 15 milliliters of this. The full size is 28.81. And it says it's infused with honey and propolis and it should give you a bit of a glow. Opening that was a bit awkward, I had to like chop it open. Uh, but let's have a look. Oh, it's like yellow. Um, it feels quite slippy for a serum, quite um, liquidy. But I like that. Um, sometimes serums I feel like they kind of dry your skin out. Like they sink in really quickly but they don't feel like they really add that much moisture. But yeah, I'll definitely try that out, and again, not a bad size. I think I'm pretty happy with my glossy box as well. I think all of the products I've gotten this month, both boxes I will definitely use. So that's usually how I kind of rate how happy I am. If I get products which I know I definitely won't use, then I'm always a bit disappointed, just because it feels like a waste. But all of these products I will definitely use. I love getting a brush. The collection highlight is nice, serum, cream, and the shampoo and conditioner. So yeah, I'm happy with the glossy box this month. That's pretty much it for this video. I'd say, like I said, I'm happy with both boxes. I love having these subscriptions. I think especially if I'm trying to um, not spend too much money that month. I know I've got these subscriptions and obviously they do cost an amount every month, but even if I'm just trying to cut back on my spending, I know that I get this little treat each month. So it just makes things feel a, I don't know, it just makes you feel a bit special each month to get it and not really feel too bad about spending too much money because you get quite a few products, but it's, um, relatively you're spending a lot less so that's always nice um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and leave a comment below what you thought of these boxes and if you received any this month if you're anything different if you were happy if you weren't I'd love to hear about it that's it from me now so I'll see you in my next video bye